All right, joining us to discuss the big Final Four matchup is former SDSU men's basketball coach Michael Brunker. Michael, thanks for coming in again. Oh, good morning. So when you think back to the teams you coached between 80 and 87, right? Yes, yes. And you look at this team, what are the differences? Hey, we had some good teams now. Uh -huh. Let's don't get it twisted no, right now. No, in fact, no. some of those players are out in Houston right now. I got a call from Michael Cage, whose uh -huh. number was retired, playing the NBA for 15 years. Creon Dorsey, the point guard that led us to the NCAA tournament in 1985, that was the last time San Diego State went to the NCAA until Steve Fisher took the team and now Brian Dutcher. So we had some pretty good teams and uh, Andre Ross was from Houston. Uh, Michael Kennedy played a uh, community college ball not far from there as well. So mm -hmm. a lot of history going back to this team, but everybody's excited about what's going on. And I know you've had Zach Jones who played for us. He, he's been interviewed here about this this joyful journey that the Aztecs are on right now, it's special to everybody that's ever worn that uniform. But more importantly, anybody that's ever heard that fight song, because <laughs> I mean, for eight, eight, you know, seven years, I remember hearing that song time in and time out right before we tipped off at the sports ring. Yeah. Yes. Well, Aztecs <laughs> being in the final four, it, it, it's, it's kind of, you, you, you can't help but think back to the 2020 team and when COVID hit and they scrubbed the whole tournament. Because yeah. back then we were like, man, this team is on fire. They ever, they're they, they could really go far. And there's a lot of teams that would like to be where they are right now. And, and I'm just thinking about so many have gotten into the tournament, never made it this far. That's what's so special yeah. about this trip that we're on right now. But, but really, you know, when you look at it right now, and I'm just, as I left my home, we were watching Ted Leitner being interviewed. Mm -hmm. And Marie and I were just, Ted was the broadcaster for our team from 80 to 87. That's wow. how long... He's been doing San Diego State basketball and football and Padre baseball, and he also did the Chargers. Uh -huh. And so what a special time it is for him and all the elders associated with the Aztecs to be in the Final Four. All those alumni and fans that are in Houston right now have got to be thrilled. Yeah, and you look at the team, and Brandon Stone brought up a very good point of, uh, a couple hours ago when he said he brought up the point that there's seven seniors on this team, and they're battle-tested. And I believe that's what's going to be one of the key factors for San Diego State right now. They truly have the maturity and the experience as a team to get the job done. And I've long been saying San Diego State will win the national championship for a number of reasons. And I know the last time I was on, when we played Creighton, I talked about how important it was to run the court, to guard somebody, and to make your layups. But also, too, I'm just looking back to that team in 1985 and all the teams we coached at San Diego State. We always looked for five special players, and we would give out awards for every game. It was called the Fantastic you know, Aztecs for every game. And, and, and it starts with, we need a secretary of defense. And, and what's great about San Diego State's team, and Brandon mentioned it earlier, everybody plays defense on this team. So right. this award can go to one, the Fantastic Aztec Five, can go to one or the entire team, but you need to have a secretary of defense. You need to have a chairman of the boards. You need to have somebody that's going to get up there and get the glass, but yeah. more importantly, get the pass off the glass because there's so many missed shots that are going on in these tournaments, and you're going to see a lot today in this big football stadium. It's not an easy place to play in. Those balls that hit the floor, we want to get those. No second shots for the opponent. The other thing we need right now, too, is we need a minister of motivation. You know, somebody's going to really be motivating the team, and that could be the person on the bench. You don't need to be in the game, but to have that spirit that you see on the sideline. But then finally, you need an executor. We saw last night in the women's Final Four, Caitlin Clark from Iowa scores 41 points against the number one team in the nation. She defined what an executor is all about. And then finally, you need a leader of the pack. And the leader is oftentimes the coach but you need a leader on the court as well. And I think this is where that maturity and experience of these seniors is going to be the edge for San Diego State all the way to the national championship. You mentioned we're, this is being played in a football stadium, not an arena like they're used to. Oh, Chris, right. Ello, Chris Ello mentioned something that I hadn't even thought of. Is it in a place that big, the sight lines can be different, so your shots might be harder, might you might... Be hey, a little Jason, more challenging. In addition to my college coaching, I spent two years in the NBA with Dick Vitale, mm -hmm. and we played. Our home court was the Silver Dome. Oh wow! In the Pontiac Silver Dome. So when I was coaching with the Pistons, we played in the Silver Dome, and it too had an elevated court. Right. But the sight lines, you got. I mean, just the the ventilation systems. You actually got air currents blowing through there as well. But more importantly, the lighting in there is unbelievable. You know. So, but what it's going to come down to, in my opinion, is similar to when teams would come out here and play on the midway, you know, yeah, and, and, yeah. and I've always said 
the, the, the street ball players are going to succeed in those kind of environments, you see. And I think that's where, once again, where the maturity and experience of San Diego State is going to really shine big. The lighting is what's going to be a, the issue. It's like if you play outside and you're shooting a basketball and the sun is in your face, you're going to be okay in this stadium. All right, yes, Michael yes, Brunker, sir. you got plans for the game? Yes, I am. Uh, Marie and I are going to go back to the home of Ken and Margie Blanchard. Uh -huh. And Ken Blanchard, uh, the renowned uh, uh, the, the Blanchard companies, sure. you know, student self leadership and, mm -hmm. and corporate leadership programs. We've got a little thing going. That we want to keep the streak alive, but we're going to be watching the game with them. And it's just been a great thing. They're both in their 80s. And I know there's a lot of people that couldn't go to Houston. They're not going to go to VA House, but they're sitting watching this game on television yeah. along with a national audience that are just going to be thrilled to really support the Aztecs as we get another Aztecnical knockout. <laughs> yes, <laughs> All yes. right, Michael Brunker, thanks for coming in. Michael. Thank you. Always All great right. talking to you.